everyone is talking about solar batteries. Are they worth the investment? How long do they last? How much do they cost? Are they sustainable? Let's find out. Welcome everyone. So today we're gonna to talk about solar batteries. What are they? How do they work? Are they worth the investment? Now, before we get into this, I do recommend you hop onto our YouTube channel. There is a ton of information about solar, roofing, solar and roofing. So, you know, get informed, get educated, hop on and yeah, that's about it really. Oh, and also I explained how to read your electric bill. This is a really important video because it really gives you some insights on how basically electric companies are ripping you off. You know, so watch that video too. So the first thing we wanna do is to give you a basic understanding on how solar works. We have three main basic parts to solar. Number one, solar panels. Well, they provide electricity to your system with sufficient sunlight. Number two, inverter. What the converter does is that it converts DC power, direct current from the panels or the battery into AC power, alternating current, which powers your home or the grid. Number three, batteries. What batteries do, simply put, is that they store extra power from the solar panels. So how it all works is that the solar panels absorb energy from the sun and passes this energy through the inverter. So what the inverter does, it turns the DC energy, which is direct current, into AC, alternating current. And basically when the sun is charging this energy, it gets released into your home. And what you don't use will actually get released back into the grid. Now, your electric meter is actually gonna keep score of how much energy you produce and how much energy you take back from the grid. If you have a battery, what happens is that any extra energy that you create will first be stored into the battery as backup. And once the battery is full, it will continue to release energy back into your home and of course the grid. So what happens when you aren't producing any solar energy at night? Don't worry because solar is built on a credit system and it's actually calculated on a yearly basis. So here is an actual graph of a yearly production for you to get a better understanding of how it all works. So the dark blue lines are what the house consumes per month and the light blue wave on the top is how much their solar system is guaranteed to produce per year. Now this shows you how much this home produces total per year, but their solar system is actually designed to produce this amount plus an extra percentage. Even though on some of these months they are producing enough sun hours, they still won't receive an electric bill because it is all calculated at the end of the year. Now this can change if the homeowner decides to upgrade any electrical equipment in the home, such as for instance, an electric car or a hot tub. This obviously means that they will be consuming extra energy and the system is not designed to offset that extra power. So what do batteries do? The battery is obviously just a backup of energy which comes into use when you have power outages or at night because your solar system is not producing any power. So instead of taking the power from the grid, you're taking it from your batteries. Really, think about it. You are still using a lot of energy at night, such as your refrigerator, your AC unit, television, so on and so forth. The main positive thing about having a battery though is that you're actually not being billed during peak hours. If you don't know about peak hours, I highly recommend that you go on to Google and check it out because this simply means that your electric company is charging you extra at certain times of the day. Now this does vary from state to state, but in general it's between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. at night. Simply put, you're literally being charged double around those hours for using your electricity. Oh, and a tip, don't charge your car around those hours or use any heavy machinery around those hours because as I mentioned, you are being charged double. So obviously having a battery, instead of taking the power from the grid, what you're doing is you're taking power from your battery. And that simply means that you won't be charged double during those hours. So what are the downfalls to having solar batteries? 
The issue presently with batteries is that they can only hold a certain amount of energy. Average is about six hours. Obviously, depending on how much energy you consume in your home. Oh, and of course, the type of battery that you purchase. The other thing is that the temperature and the atmospheric condition that you live in will also affect the lifespan of your battery. Another thing, batteries actually lose production over time. Just like your phone battery. For the first few years, it will work great. And then of course, over time, the battery won't perform any longer at 100% and it will decrease. So the issue here is that you will probably need to replace the battery every five to 15 years. Not only that, but it might also require by a little maintenance. Price. Now, when diving into the world of solar batteries, the first thing that homeowners notice is the price. The price, of course, will be affected by the power storage capacity of the battery. Also, the type of battery that you choose, such as lithium or lead acid. But you should expect to pay anything between $8,000 and $18,000 with a few thousand dollars, give or take. For instance, for a 10,000 kilowatt battery, you should expect to pay around $14,000. So is it worth getting a battery? Hmm. Well, this actually does depend on quite a few things. So here's the thing, there are actually a lot of programs out there that include the battery in the price. I believe that Tesla is one of those. So what ends up happening is that you just end up paying a few extra dollars a month for the battery. In which case, it can actually be worth it. But the truth is, is that batteries are expensive and they cannot get you completely off the grid yet. I would really recommend for homeowners to wait until the technology improves, possibly in the next five years. They are in fact working on that technology as we speak because there is such a high demand on solar. So it's just a matter of time before batteries improve and they're definitely gonna be worth your investment. However, if money's not an issue, good for you, or you live in an area where there is a lot of energy blackouts, or of course that your energy bill is insanely expensive, well then, maybe batteries might just be the right thing for you. Oh, and don't forget to always look at the warranties and the production guarantees. This is obviously really important because you wanna make sure that if anything goes wrong with the battery, that they're gonna replace it and that production guarantee simply means that they guarantee to produce a certain amount of energy or power for a certain time period. So this can be really great and beneficial. And of course, this will also help you if going with a battery is worth it or not. The best thing to do, of course, is for you to get a few quotes and really get to understand your options. Remember that getting a solar quote is free and it does not require that much of your time. So if this is something that you're thinking about, go and get a few quotes and then you will be able to compare the prices with battery and without a battery. Don't forget that here at Energy Advantage, uh, we do solar. So if you'd like a quote from us, you can click the description box below or you can go to our website. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate your time. I hope this video was informational and educational. Please subscribe and like this video. And of course, if you'd like me to make any videos about solar and roofing, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.